Hey, it's Rob from the Bob Sphere, and this is the last Booker novel I have to review. So this is Percival Everett, The Trees. I have all of Percival Everett's influx uh, releases over here all around me, but I never got around to reading him. So the Booker long listing was a very good, now short listing, was a very good excuse. And I'm glad I did because I loved it. Okay, so this is a murder mystery superficially and this um is used to explain deeper topics the mystery is that rednecks are being brutally throttled and next to them there's a dead black afro-american and it's the same one in some cases now the and this all takes place in a redneck town as well so what happens is that these two afro-american detectives from mississippi come to investigate because the local police aren't that good and they find out that in order to solve this mystery they have to go back to the past and this uncovers a lot of things. It's a very layered book. And the the two main themes, though, is racism and police corruption. And in this, in this book, Percival Everett creates a kind of dichotomy because these are black detectives and they cannot really... I mean, they, they have to obey the law and they have to arrest the people that are doing this even though it's white people who are being murdered. But the thing is, in the past, when black people were lynched, the law didn't care. So should these detectives really care? So it, it poses that. It's extremely readable. The chapters are only a page or two long. There's 106 chapters in this. So it's it's a really breezy thing. It is very funny. Um, lots of guilty laughing here. But, but the dialogue is razor sharp. It's brilliant. It, it's just laugh out loud. And uh, that's it, really. That's all I have to say. Um, it's it's kind of like, I would say, I wouldn't say comedic. No, it's a more satiric version of Leila Motley's Nightcrawling. I'll say that. I think this does better, to be honest. But I like Nightcrawling as well. But I, I prefer this. It has the same themes. So sometimes it is shocking in its own way. I mean, you can use satire to illustrate a point. And that point is actually very depressing. And it, it is, it is. I mean, to find out police are taking part in lynchings or they don't even care when, after all, it's a human being who's being killed for no reason. It's, it's not something to laugh at. But Percival Everett pulls it off. So this is my first Everett, as I said. Definitely not my last. I'm hoping uh, by the end of the year, I'll be able to read some more. But we'll see. I've got three more of his, the influx. And apparently I found out that Erasure is on Faber and Faber, so maybe we'll get that as well. But anyway, I'm a fan. And that's it for Booker 2022. On the whole, I thought it was a very good long list. I liked, yeah, out of the 13 books, I only disliked one, which was Booth. And two, I had mixed reactions. One is Seven Moons, which I, I mean, I liked, but it needs a second reading. And Glory, which I thought was a bit messy. But on the whole, yeah. For me, there were tons of 10 out of 10 reads. So I'm really happy after the mixed 2021 and awful 2020. Anyway, I'll be doing a winter prediction video maybe in a couple of weeks' time. I'll turn this into a playlist. Okay, then. That's it. See you next year.